welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name's Randy. This is a channel that's all about uh, home distillation and brewing. So, if you are into the hobby or want to get into the hobby or whatever, and if this is for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there below. Uh, this video is going to be about some of the necessary items that you're going to need to get started. Okay, one of the things that you're going to first you're going to need is a nice brew pot. Okay, I got a 10 gallon brew pot. That's just because that's my preference. I like a little bit of room to work with. Uh, next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a fermentation bucket. Okay, with a lid. Okay, you'll need that. And in some cases, you will be needing a secondary fermenter. Okay, so that's what I use this for. All right. Then one of the other things that you're going to need is a mash tun with like a, a false bottom and some kind of type of strainer in the bottom with a you know valve in it, wall valve. Okay, so what you'll be using this for is to. Uh, like say you're doing a bourbon and you want to put your corn in there to get the the uh, sugars out of the, you know, convert the starches into sugars you need to hold it to a certain temperature we'll do a little bit more on that later okay so and talking about temperature and all that you'll be you'll need to be able to uh, measure temperatures uh, this is a rubber meat th uh, thermometer which comes in very handy uh, an infrared thermometer and I don't know if you call these a, a candy thermometer it's just a glass thermometer which that one is actually the best okay and it's it's your preference on what you want there's many options okay um, this thing that goes with the fermentation bucket you got airlocks okay you got a couple different styles they all do basically the same thing all right Next thing on the list is a hydrometer. Okay, a hydrometer, this is something that you will be measuring uh, basically the amount of sugars that are in the liquid. Okay, and you got a couple different options of that. So this is a regular glass uh, hydrometer, and then this is a refractometer. Okay, and this is only good for uh, liquid before it has been fermented, so you can check the sugar in that. And then after you would use this after it's fermented and to see when it's done okay and then the other one it looks the same but it's different is a tail a proof and tails uh, meter and this will tell you how much alcohol it is in a liquid and of course a test jar okay uh, let's see what else are you going to need okay you're going to need something to stir it with so you always got a, few, a bunch of options with that you got a paddle you got a big stainless steel spoon and what else you will need is something to sanitize with uh, one of the things i like the best i think it's the best thing they've come out with star sand okay it's it's very economical it works great so you i think it's like a half half an ounce per a whole five gallons okay and you put some into a spray bottle which is very important so that you can spray everything off keep everything nice and sanitized okay uh, another thing you're going to need is a racking cane with a you know tube the auto siphon you put it in pump it gets your siphon going and makes it extremely easy all right Back to chemical wise, this is iodine. You can get this at any grocery store. Uh, it's very inexpensive. What it's used for is to check for starches left in a mash. So when you're, you're mashing in, you want to test to make sure that you converted all the starches into sugar, okay? And of course, mason jars. You need something to collect. All right, and then next thing, you're going to need a heat source. So however, that's up to you, how you heat your, uh, your brew pot, your still, that's going to be up to you. And one of the last things you're going to need is 
still this is mine uh, this is a combination still runs as a refractor uh, reflux or a pot still okay it's an eight, ga eight gallon model and one of the very most important things which a lot of people forget is a notebook uh, you come out with a, a great brew you come out with a great bourbon or whatever you do and then you want to do it again without notes you'll know you don't know what you the best thing you did you need a notebook take notes very important okay I hope you enjoyed I hope I got a couple of messages out to you I hope that uh, you got a little bit of understanding of what you need uh, we will be having coming videos out once a week hopefully uh, as schedule permits and I think the next thing what we're going to be doing I finished up a, a rum and we're going to be cutting the rum down you know proofing it down and we're going to make half of it to regular rum and then the other one's going to be a spice rum that which I'm looking forward to that it's something new for me so enjoy this adventure thanks a lot see you next time